<gasps> maid outfit? Oh my gosh. Maid era? Ooh, this is really good. No premium. Wait, did you just screenshot that? What is happening? Okay, so from what I understand, they screenshotted it to avoid paying for premium poses. Wow, what the heck even is that pose? Well, you know what they say. The devil works hard, but broke people work harder. Y'all really out here working harder than the devil himself? Just to not pay for premium, huh? So let's try it out. Okay, so apparently it's on the upper side. Oh, there it is. Wow, I never knew about this. This is actually really cool. There are a lot of free ones, but there are also premium ones, I guess. Okay, this looks very smegzy and seductive. Let's take a screenshot. Oh, wow, this is low quality, but I think we can make do with this. Okay, I kind of just gave up on deleting the checkbox. I can't get rid of it at all. Anyway, let's just trace it real quick. There we go. Okay, let's just remove the image and... Ooh, just kidding, it looks bad. I'm just gonna doodle like a character before we make any judgments, okay? So let's just draw the clothes, give him a seductive face. The hair, the paint, Pants and smegzy feet. Mmm. Okay. This actually looks decent. Not gonna lie. Okay, wait. Let's try the original one. Let's screenshot it again. Bro, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. Please do not do this. This is for educational purposes. Got it. Also, I don't know what kind of expression I'm making over here. The hands are actually kind of iffy, though. Like, what does this pose even mean? Is she, like, trying to push the ceiling or something? Whatever. Six out of ten. Next. Other artists drawing glasses. Very badly drawn glasses. Meanwhile, me. What the heck is that? That's a thing? Okay, let's try it out. So we're gonna go to materials again, and I have no idea where it is. What the heck is it? Okay, so apparently it's on this ribbon thing right here. Right. So let's just transform it real quick. Ooh, wait a sec. Why does this actually suit my art style? Ooh, wow. Okay, I don't want the reflection to block his smegzy eye. So let's just erase real quick using a soft brush. Ooh, very nice. This is actually like 8 out of 10. Pretty good. Let's try the 3-4 V one. Ooh, very nice. Bro, this is actually the first time I'm exploring the Ibis paint materials, I think. Honestly, the other materials are kind of weird. Wait a second. <gasps> There's a choker? Oh my gosh, I want to give him that choker so bad. Why does it have to be premium? He would have looked so baby girl, you know? People are gonna be willing to pay for that. Anyway, let's explore it some more. Ooh, look at this furry hat. Bro, why does it look like the worker's hat for McDonald's. Okay, I am obviously having too much fun. <gasps> Maid outfit? Let's remove the hat. Oh my gosh. Maid era? Ooh, this is really good. What the heck is that? Tears? That don't look like tears. Alright. I did not know about Ibis paint assets until now, but it's very nice. 9 out of 10. Before the next TikTok hat, I want you guys to look at this sexy beast. Have y'all ever thought, what could be the story behind this seductive eye? Well, I present to you, Great Call of the Arbiter. Yep, it's a Raid ad. Like, I was watching the trailer and I was like, this is from Raid? Like, bro, the animation style Loki reminds me of Arcane. And the first episode is already out. Now, this limited series dives deep into the Raid universe. The Raidiverse. Where they explain the lore. So it's not just a game anymore. It's an adventure. Poetic. So you can watch it by downloading Raid. They have new episodes every Thursday. Plus, content on their YouTube. They also added new features like champion bios. Now, this launch will offer a ton of cool stuff for both new fans and all, this is the perfect time to jump in because you will be getting this sexy beast for free. Just by logging into Raid for 7 days from now until July 24th. Download Raid Shadow Legends now, click the link in the description, or scan this QR code to get insane bonuses like an epic champion knight errant. Thank you Raid for sponsoring this video. So onto the video. How to color just one area in Ibis Paint. 1. Press magic wand tool and select all the areas you don't want want to color. 2. Press the inverted selection area button and color the page. And there we go. It only colors the inner part. Wait a sec. Why are there so many views? People don't know about this basic as heck trick? Bruh. Okay, this is actually the best for clean art styles. For example, we have this line art right here. It's clean af. I clean it up. And you're just gonna click magic wand and select outside. Here we see the selected area is outside. You just click invert. And there you have it. You just selected the inner part. Part. And now look at this. You won't be able to color outside the selected area. Big brain, but basic tip. Next. Want this? Screen tones. Okay, this video is fast paced as heck. Now color any. Bro, I'm not done reading yet. 
Okay, well that video was probably made for people with ADHD. Anyway, let's try it out. I'm so sorry that my art looks rushed as heck. I drew like four times a day. My carpal tunnel is carpal tunneling. So apparently it's right here. And then instead of blending mode, click screen tone. In the TikTok, they use dot L8. So yeah. Okay, so it's black. Why the heck is it black though? I literally can't change the color. Okay, so how did a TikTok do it? Okay, so apparently you make a new layer below and merge them together and click alpha lock and voila now you can change the colors all right not bad six out of ten next create your oc Ooh. well technically this isn't a challenge but since i'm doing it on ibis paint it becomes challenging because ibis paint has a lot of ads anyway let's start i'm screen recording on my phone so for the skin tone okay let's screenshot this next the color palette all right red and blue next hair Huh? Bald? Bruh. Next, accessories. Okay, scarf. And lastly, the style. Okay, this is some sort of preschool outfit. Cool. Okay, let's start drawing her. Just kidding. Guys, there is no way I'm drawing a bald character. Unless it's the king, Saitama. So let me just do it again. Alright, now we have something decent. Bro, I do not know how to draw braids. Oh well, better than being bald. Also, this skin is like really repetitive, so let's try something new for once. Alright. Tan. So let us first create a draft. So she got braids and then the scarf and then the preschool outfits and a skirt, I guess, and some boots. Okay, this is pretty interesting so far. Here is also our color palette. Anyway, I'm gonna start drawing the body. She has this very sassy pose. Let's start with the clothes. Just the vest. And now for the skirt, let's just draw some curves. This is for the ruffles. Then I'm gonna draw parallel lines to add more details. And voila! So for the face, just a normal female face, whatever. And lastly, the scarf. She's looking like Mikasa right now, so let's just add the braids. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's color her. Okay, she got tan skin. So I'm gonna make her blonde to complement her skin. And let's just add the rest of the colors. Guys, my hand hurts so much. Also, like I gave her these fingerless gloves. Let's just show you real quick. And I'm gonna add this soft light to make her glow a bit. Right. Okay, she looks like a Pokemon trainer. Okay, cool. Next. My honest tip for side profile bodies is to avoid them. Wow, that is that is a very stellar tip. Wanna learn how to draw hands? Don't draw them at all. Just stick them up the booty hole. Bro, that is not how it works. It's actually really easy, okay? Just draw a circle for the head and just draw the S shape like this. This is gonna be for the upper body. And from there, I don't know how to explain this, okay? I'm just drawing these beans and then the booty, right? Draw the circle for the arm and the elbow goes about here. And then draw the legs. It kind of forms this curve shape now let's draw the feet and then the hands as you can see he's scratching his ball anyway you don't really have to memorize all that i'm literally using a reference okay but you should learn to draw the side view okay even just once or else your character is gonna end up like this and now you know how to draw side view okay but i really gotta work on my hands though okay anyway i hope you guys like this video watch this video next and i'll see you there stay cool